Dixon. There's room to the left. Good play from Dixon. Merson. Ian right outside him and found. Sally's got into the middle. Alan Smith, who operates well on the far post. Back for Parler. He makes a better angle for himself. Smith. And again. Didn't really connect the first time. Swept it towards the near post with the second attempt, but men saw it coming. Shearer also contributing to Blackburn defensively, but Merson comes up trumps. Paul Merson, it's well hit. And uh, it gives the Ivory crowd, although they're on three sides rather than four of the ground, something to lift their spirits and to improve the quality of the game so far. Smith. And Selly. It comes from Merson. And oh, well, no wonder Mims was scampering across his line then. It probably wasn't what Paul Merson had in his mind. But the ball dropped onto the frame of the goal. Really, I think hoping to get the ball across the face, and he came even closer. Nice header by Parler. It's a fine ball by Selle for Wright. May trying to hold him up, but he hasn't perhaps been able to do it. In fact, the help came from Moran in the end. Oh, Merson has picked away through and. It looked as though the calmness was going to be rewarded with the opening goal. But Alan Wright made sure he didn't quite have the time that he thought he had. Merson takes it. Adams climbs. Smith was behind him. It was Smith's header that was plucked out of the air by Mims. Best spell of the game for the home side. Ripley for the right back here of Blackburn Rovers, David May. Oh, Newell! Yes! Kenny Dalglish delighted by a sweeping attack, rounded off by Newell. With 21 minutes left. And a raid down the right by David May. And Newell lost Adams, but got to the ball and tucked it in.